Uh, Norman Tregenza, Madison, Carroll County. <clears throat> the question was asked by my friend and our colleague from Concord uh, about if, for example, somebody undercover was conversing with uh, an intended, uh, someone who was planning to be a villain and, and knock off whoever it is that's asking too many questions in, in committee. And <clears throat> if, if there's an intended victim, then, then there's an intended victim. So um, it places the, the burden of proving that there was a victim um, <coughs> And, and that I think that's the difference. Next slide. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I, and I forgot to say that that I think by including that language of intended victim into the the bill, that the bill could go forward as it is. Oh, we have questions. Questions. Representative, you've got questions. Let's make a deal. Representative Price, then Representative Thank you, Representative, for taking the question. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, you sit on fishing game, correct? Yes. Okay. If someone on the current fishing game statute catches one fish, too many. Is that a victimless crime? Legally speaking, uh, I, it, the the fish are the property of the citizens of New Hampshire. Follow up. Oh yeah. Is that a victimless crime? Sir? That was the question. Uh, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Representative, taking the question. Um, I just wanted to clarify what Representative Shirtloff was talking about. Was that a direct threat? Or was that an indirect threat, third party? Well, if I understood what he said correctly, he basically said that if, if somebody came up to him, uh, uh, or, or if, if, if there was one person who, who was planning to, uh, to take the life of another person, uh, and, and the, the person who was planning to commit the crime said this to somebody undercover, then the person who heard it undercover could not use that in, in court. Did, did I understand that correctly? Right. So, um, but because there was a genuinely intended victim, um, the crime hadn't been committed, but that doesn't mean that there was not an intended victim. Well, that clearly states here it has to be a direct that would be an indirect threat. I understand that in law, it would be affirmative defense. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you.